welcome to Movie, Movie Bitches, <laughs> episode 100. What? We are keeping it 100. Welcome to this extravaganza. In case you didn't notice, that this is what happens when April sends me to Party City. <laughs> I said you absolutely have to get the supplies from Party City. Where you belong. So, um, in the spirit of Pokemon Go, which April knows nothing about, I love that my dad called me earlier and is like, are you, you know playing this Pokemon, Pokemon Go is? Yes. And you don't. Is it like a game on they, your phone? They came out with a game. Is it like Angry Birds, but it's like Pokemon no. Go? No. You use like your camera yeah. on your phone uh -huh. and little Pokemon will show up. And there's like a map in real life sure. of places that you go and you have to go and catch all of the Pokemon. You gotta catch them all. So, so like, don't people look like idiots? Yes. In the spirit of Pokemon Go. Sure. Yes, we hidden have hidden some little like Easter eggy fun things throughout the video. Yes, throughout so, this you know, episode. Comment and let us know if you figure, if you catch them all. This wouldn't be you know a, a, a true episode if there weren't a shameless plug. <laughs> so as always, to celebrate our hundredth episode, um, yay! Go check out Spreadshirt and get yeah. some merchandise. Go get merchandise. Tell all of your friends. <laughs> Do it. So, for like a long time, right. we were like, what are we going to do for 100? We decided, let's do it about like, you know, the whole journey here. It's been really fun for us to look back at it. Oh my god. Oh my god. My awful hair. How did we put any of this stuff up on the internet? It's <laughs> really... truly someone, awful. Someone should have stopped us. But awful. thank god that they didn't, and thank god that you guys have like encouraged us. <laughs> Some of you guys asked us oh, yeah. how we met. So basically, when I was in school, one of my professors ran a film camp. Yeah, we met as camp counselors. And then we became just like fast friends because obviously, duh. Here we are. Dear God. A hundred episodes later. What? 3,000 subscribers later. What? Countless cases of wine later. <laughs> We figured we'd start it off yes. with, you know, as we start every episode. With Andrew introducing the movie. Yep, or trying to. And all the times that he immediately forgets either what movie we saw or what it was called. So, tonight we're reviewing, I forgot for a second. Oh God, I keep wanting to say a deadly murder. I almost said Into the Wild. I almost said Box Spring. It's not a mattress. I was going to say The Last December, but it's not. That's a different one. Is that a movie? It might be. I think it is. So tonight we're reviewing um, Independence Day Resurgence. It's the new Nicholas Sparks movie um, called Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Oh God! All right, uh, the second best Marigold Hotel. Yep. Exotic Marigold. Oh my God! Exotic. The, the second, second best, best exotic Marigold, Marigold Hotel. Hotel. That's what it's called, right? The Huntsman Winter War. I think it's Winter's War. Winter's War. We saw a million dies. A million dies. A million dies to weigh in the West. The Shadows. Nope. The Shallows. <laughs> oh, one more time? The Shallows. We thought that it could be fun to pick like our three least favorite movies that we reviewed. Yes. And then we kind of had to do our three favorite worst movies that we were like so bad they're good so my number three like worst movie that i just hated the most yep was a million ways to end the west <laughs> <laughs> fucking hated it hated it hated it by the sea i i wrote by the sea and i crossed it out and i was because like it well was just so like trying to be something it's not achieving <sighs> speaking of movies that tried and failed <laughs> sure my number two, yes. Snowpiercer. Ah! <laughs> I almost put Snowpiercer. Mordecai. Oh god, how did I really forget about Mordecai? Bad movie. Oh. Okay, so my number one movie I hated the most that we have ever reviewed, Million Days to Die in the West. Oh, wow. Million Days to Die in the West. Million Days? Million um, Ways to Die, die in the West. God damn it. The fucking title. Just hated it. Anyway, what's yours? <laughs> hated it! I hated it! I hated that movie so much. 
my number one worst, the worst movie I'm that we've scared. reviewed. I'm scared. Winter's Tale. <laughs> I also wrote down blended. Blended was and on my short list out. too. I had crossed it out. Uh, blended deserves an honorable mention. So if there's been no other theme <laughs> throughout 100 episodes of Movie if Bitches, if there's one thread that connects almost nearly every episode, that is that the thirst is real, <laughs> particularly when it comes to one man in particular. Obviously, we love Michael Fassbender. I'm gonna lodge a complaint right now. No shirt, let's Chris Hemsworth. Right, come on, it's Thor. Let's have some more naked shots. <laughs> Henry Cavill is sexy. Why isn't his son in there naked? Anyway, <laughs> that would fit perfectly, right? I mean, come on, he's Norwegian or whatever, Swedish. He looked like a lumberjack. <laughs> you know exactly what gif is going right here, right? Oh. <laughs> have a good butt. Yeah. Um, and that was my favorite part of their sex scene. They would be in that, like, Turkish olive oil wrestling match. There's some scenes where he's really hot. And yeah. You're like, yeah, cowboy, get it. Why the fuck didn't we get to have a hot sex scene between young Harrison Ford and her? I wanted to see them get it on in a field in England. Do you like Harrison Ford? Look, everybody likes Harrison Ford. I also would have liked to see him shirtless. That would have been nice. Oh, but it would be, he couldn't be nude if it's a Disney movie. Right. I'm just saying, he was in the shower and he had a full robe on. Right? I'm like, what? No, he should be like barely holding a towel. He would have been like drying himself with a washcloth, like just almost naked. You know who I wish was cast instead of Henry Cavill? Wow, wow, bold statement. You love Henry Cavill. Who? Well, who do I love more than Henry Cavill? And who do I love to see naked more than Henry Cavill? Michael Fassbender? Yes! Any movie ever <laughs> would be better with Michael you Fassbender. You know Michael Fassbender would have lost all that weight for real. Oh, God. And shown his butt. He would have been so sad. I know, but like he would have done it. But they, but they would have shown him nude first, before when he's all ripped, well, and then again later. Like clearly, Michael Fassbender would have been just like walking around the space station naked. Because why not? <laughs> Once again, I don't know how many times I need to say this. <laughs> Michael Fassbender <laughs> is the perfect Bond. Michael Fassbender's Bond, full frontal scene. <laughs> oh look at me, I'm sexy. <laughs> Yeah. Remember when he was a sexy steel mill worker? They were like safety goggles that he somehow he made fucking sexy. Yep, he nailed it. But not only is he sexy in every fucking scene, <laughs> literally every different outfit, I was like, how are you doing this? <laughs> <sighs> Michael Fassbender for me, I, I, I know I'm just like a broken record. I could watch Michael Fassbender watch paint dry. Nina I was, was about to say I wish that like Michael Fassbender paint. was my dad. <laughs> but really more like daddy. You want to know who else was considered for the role? Our favorite Michael Fassbender. No! Yes! It just happens to be that Michael Fassbender is perfect for every role. A poor man's Michael Fassbender, but in the best possible way. In the best possible way. Huh? I, I want Henry Cavill in a rom-com where he's also naked. Just show me fucking Henry Cavill naked. Just put him in some Superman underwear. Yes! <laughs> I think you need to pick me up in your arms and then come into a bathtub. And also but change you your sexual your orientation. <laughs> That's flexible. <laughs> I could see him being in like Magic Mike 3. Oh yeah. Right? He's used to the Ice Queen. He's like really hot and really hot. Do me now. In the forest. <laughs> in IMAX. <laughs> so cheers to Michael Fassbender. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Don't we all? So, April has a little bit of a pet peeve when it comes to movies. And if you haven't noticed, it tends to start with, can we talk about that hair, that wig, her outfit, those shoes, or all of the above? Can we talk about her wig? Eddie Redmayne's wig is better than the woman who plays his wife. No. Can we talk about her eyebrows? and how they were a secondary character in this film. And she was working through a rough wig. Him and the child both shared the same horrific wig. Yep. So you could tell that they were the same person. 
I feel like I should mention Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Joseph Gordon-Levitt's weave. Tom Hardy's hair. And at first I thought it was the single worst comb over like bald spot I'd ever seen. It was Matt Bomer and it was Matt Bomer's wig. I mean it was like Kyle MacLachlan's hair in Showgirls. <laughs> like a Louise Brooks hairdo. Like Keanu Reeves in the 90s. It's like John Bon Jovi. I like on a bender. He looks like Count Chocula. Like jazz devil. Real deep goatee. And he looks Oh, he looks like a jazzy devil. Looks like a skeleton with hair. Like, he took off his helmet, he might as well have just been like, ah, oh, that's better. His hair is a disaster. It looked like Kristen Stewart's hair in the later Twilight movies when she had to cut her hair for Runaways, and then she had this, like, horrific wig, so she couldn't do this, because that's, like, 90% of her acting. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about Jude Law. I'm thinking about his hairline. I think that Johnny Depp should not be a blonde. I think that Johnny Depp should take a break from acting and reevaluate his life. Basically, the reason I agreed to go see this movie was for the outfits. Now, I do want to talk about uh -huh. the fact uh -huh. that mm -hmm. Sandra Bullock wears nothing but leather lace up shoes with no socks. And she dresses like a little girl. Like a like a preschool yes. teacher she, yeah. or a small child. Like, ah, oh, can't wait to see that hot Gwyneth Paltrow chick in some riding pants and a wide belt and a lace top. Overly tight vests where With... the back is a satin animal print. Yep. And then the button-down <laughs> shirt is a different animal <laughs> print. <laughs> High-waisted tweed pants. Macrame sleeves. Light cycle rollerblades, high heeled Doc Martens. The people in Tomorrowland all look like they're from Armani Exchange. <laughs> She's dressed as Sal Minio from Rebel Without a Cause. Loose fit jod purse. It was like a shiny, shiny satin in the 60s. Yeah. She's dressed like it's the 60s. Present day, she's dressed like it's the 40s. I'm confused. It's like a white theater, but it's a deep V. It was very feminine and I was just fascinated and I kind of want my own. She's running away from a T-Rex in heels. The whole movie she's just wearing like a sports bra and running shorts. Oh my god. And like an oversized sweatshirt. Which well, sure. It's always open. Sure. Every single outfit she has has a Peter Pan collar for no reason. Every single one. What's going on? Are you Doctor Who? <laughs> Everything's just like hats. And skirt. She is in a full corset teddy snaps. Like, everything like like he undressed her, fucked her, and then what he's into is like redressing her in lingerie. I was so confused. I mean, that's a pretty common fetish. So, if Andrew was to have a catchphrase, I think it would be this next montage. Fuck that movie. That was when I was like, fuck you, movie. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, movie. <laughs> fuck you, movie. What the fuck is this movie? Fuck you, movie. Says fuck you, movie. Love. So fuck you, movie. Fuck you. That's what I say. <laughs> Personally, I can say I am always spot on <laughs> with my impersonations. <laughs> Zawaya. Mother's Day. <laughs> you said that very weird. Rash <laughs> Now it's weird. Why did it have to say hello? It has to say hello? But Jean, I love you. Jean! Montana. Montana. She's like, you made this? He's like, no, oh, my life is over. You just hear his voice and he sounds kind of 40. Where men were men. Like, men, were they, men. They worked on cars. And they stayed with their wives for life. <laughs> Do you think that all that, like, it's worth a man's life? Bum, bum. Bum, bum. For five minutes straight. Bum, bum. I guess the proper thing to do would be to offer you some tea. Clark will train her. Will train her? Clark. I wanted the hotel I would. Whatever you want, Noah. Of course we can build this ark. Welcome to Africa! Africa! Blending. We blend. Now we're, now blending. we're blending. blending. You blend. <laughs> Giraffes! Oh. Elephants! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and now I'm yelling! Being a mom is hard. <laughs> you don't know what to do. <laughs> you finally get them to bed and they wake you up again. 
It How was, are you gonna do this when you're packing lunches, making costumes? <laughs> you're running on no sleep. These kids on this Twitter. John Cusack as Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Nobody move. I'll shoot y'all. I'll shoot y'all. I don't look at the man in the mask. <laughs> right. I'm gonna steal all this money. Okay, and now the next order of business, and the other one's like, let's open the gouda. And she's like, ah, oh, what are you doing? <gasps> For me? <laughs> I drove it before it was cool. Right. Because I like it. The world's running out of it. The dust is everywhere. I'm going to speak like this sometimes. <laughs> He's like, look, you guys, I can't do a I can't do an English accent if I'm not whispering intensely. <laughs> I have to take this very seriously. You better pay attention to me. Husky whisper. He would go, you know, like, oh, Ava, we're talking, and then I'm gonna talk to you later. <laughs> Need input. Johnny Five is alive. Now, this is what I will do to be romantic. Here is a gesture. I love you. You are the love. We shall kiss now. <laughs> Didn't you know I was evil all along? It's that noise where it goes like, Mwah. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and No, <laughs> mommy's dead. <laughs> I'm your mommy now. Okay. No, mommy's dead. I'm your mommy now. Like, oh my god, fabulous. This is so much more fabulous than the entire city is fabulous <laughs> times 10. Oh my god, we have so much banana bread to make. Do you know how many orders of banana bread we have? Oh, be ashamed to. Drink that bottle alone. I gave it my all. <laughs> He's Texas all of a sudden. This is weird to me because it's something, I'm gonna put this down right here. Well, this is gonna be some gestures. Not even. It's just, I need to gesticulate. That's, that's what gestures are. Well, but, that, but whatever, fuck you. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. She's talking like this with her nails in her face. She goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's not great. Instead of Adrienne Grenier being like, you know, oh, look at me in my, my, like, Hollywood star pad with my great house and I'm gonna Spot fuck some bitches. on Adrienne Grenier. <laughs> it lights me to a door. Woo! <laughs> oh no! The city is collapsing behind me. Just being like, Oh, hello! <laughs> I'm going to tell you about how I put my wire on the Empire City. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Zoom, zoom, zoom. With her head just like superimposed. Oh my god! <laughs> the wire. My wire. The wire. The wire. The wire. The wire. Hey, you! Oh, we got a frog over here. Oh, hello! Now I am in France. Oh, hello, dear museum goers. <laughs> now you will come with me on this daring adventure. Welcome, my friend. Here's the story about DNA and how we created dinosaurs. And all of a sudden, I saw a bird. Ah! Like a I'm not Spanish, I'm Egyptian. Yeah, come save me. Oh, he saved me. Let's go and fuck. I'm ready. This is the <laughs> partial justice league. I'm ready. We have to take all of the color out. It can only be black and white and red. <laughs> I'm like, everyone has to talk in a voice like this. <laughs> Why? Do you bleed? Oh, I'm so embarrassed by my family. Is that a coconut? Yeah, that's right. No, but I have laser beams. Boo! Jump! Jump! Oh jump! R, as in Robert Loja. <laughs> oh, 
as in, oh boy, is that Robert Loja? I want a cowboy! I want a cowboy! Oh, this is so crazy, this crazy whale. No, oh, these jellyfish can't, oh, ow, no. Surfers killed my mom, that's why I want to eat you. Blah, 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 blah. It didn't blah, feel blah, like... Blah, 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 blah. Boo, 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 boo. We gotta go! It was like all the same. <laughs> Spot on. Bye! Bah! We kind of had to do... So bad they're good. Your yes. number three was... Boy Next Door. <laughs> so good. So my number three is Boy Next Door, because mm -hmm. I knew you were going to put it. But I thought that we should also mention... The Shallows. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> because... The Shallows was just... I didn't put The Shallows down because yeah. I felt like it was good enough of a movie to no. not be in the So Bad It's Good category. No. The shark was on fire. The shallows. Grand piano. That's my number two. Shut up! <laughs> yeah. I thought you were the same number one too. I don't know, but I hope so. I hope so. Should we do it at the same time and see if it's the same? Okay. Okay. So the number, number one, one movie that was so bad it's good was was God's Agent. <laughs> <laughs> the density of failure really was approaching Showgirls level. It really was. Oh, and it's much shorter than Showgirls. Yeah. If you've been following us on Facebook or Twitter or, or Tumblr. Tumblr, every time we post our reviews, we will also post the poster that we've re-photoshopped with our quote onto yeah. it. This is a, a mashup of all of those little one-liners. This movie is the opposite of what society needs. This movie should have just been called White Privilege. It's basically the Hangover 2 of acapella movies. It's competent but boring. Yeah. Which is kind of the worst. Nothing happened in this movie! Oh boy, was this movie awful. Good lord, don't see it. It equally offended and bored me. I was like, stop singing. I'm done. Let me out of here. I want to go home. It's a hot mess. Yes, it's on Netflix. Yes, you could watch it for free, but can you get that time back? I wish. I wish. Oh. This movie was better. You should definitely watch it. <laughs> With a bottle of wine. Sad and gross and sad for two hours. This movie is a rom-com. <laughs> it is. With a ten-year-old. I would say it was misguided at every juncture. This movie is the fifth element, but sucks. It's really a bad sign when you're rooting for the evil stepmother. Don't see it in theaters. Right. Watch it on Netflix and you'll fall asleep. I just paid money to watch teenagers chat online. One minute I'm baffled <laughs> and the next minute I am quite literally falling asleep. You could red box it. If you don't have a heart condition, I would say go see this movie. Yeah. It was like Cameron Crowe does a Wes Anderson film. And, and the result is, huh? I mean, it was an extended two and a half hour Mercedes commercial. Yep. It's a failed experiment. The words, I didn't hate this Adam Sandler movie, are coming out of my mouth, and I can't believe it. Post-1998. It was like almost a great movie. It looked like a musical, but it seemed like a Lifetime movie. I would prefer this to stop. Mm. No. No. There was a severe lack of joy. I just can't. I couldn't. I won't. No. Why? Why? Why tell this story? You could watch it. You could watch it, or you could not. It's an hour and forty-five minute perfume commercial. What is this? It was just so pretentious. <laughs> I the mean, choice is no. I don't know what this movie was. I don't know what this movie was. It was the best <laughs> piece of hot, hot garbage that I've consumed this year. It's more of a cold garbage. It's like harder to swallow. It wasn't incompetently made, it was just super fucking boring. It felt like a really bad Adam Sandler movie. Great clusterfuck, you guys. <laughs> a plus. It's toasties. Like it was more like a, ugh, this is almost good, I wish it was better. Just like a total skip-worthy event. As a oh final, God. like, fuck you to the audience, it ended on a freeze frame. Oh, God. P.S. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. <laughs> and Instagram. 
and Instagram. One of my favorite things that often occurs in many of our reviews is I, like the film nerd I am, will be talking about people that Andrew has no idea who they are. He kind of reminded me of Bruce Willis. Is that... Vin Diesel? Yeah. As the tree? Oh, who was the big bulky guy? <laughs> That's like some wrestler. Really? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wait, Bill creep, Paxton creep, creep, is the creep, guy creep. who's in True Blood. What? Like when Jackie Gleason dies, spoiler alert. Joanne. Joanne. Jackie Gleason. <laughs> Straight Victor to the moon. <laughs> um, Victor Delanova, what's his name? <laughs> Vincent Minnelli? <laughs> I don't know, what was it? Vincent D'Onofrio. There we go, I was close. Mammy Gummer. Is that her name? I thought it was Ben Kingsley. You thought that was Ben Kingsley? I don't know. Whoa. That was Hugh Jackman. That was straight up Hugh Jackman. Candy. Candy? John Candy. That's a different person. Is it? <laughs> That's Uncle Buck. Who's Uncle Buck? <laughs> oh my god, Andrew. <laughs> Gary Oldman was supposed to play his character, which would have been fucking amazing. You think? You know who Gary Oldman I is, do. right? Yes, he's such a good villain. Oh my god, he would have been so Wasn't great. he the villain in Spider-Man? No, that... No, that's Willem Dafoe. Oh. No. Do you know who Gary Oldman is? Maybe. <laughs> She's too young for Ed Harkin. Is that his name? <laughs> no. He was felt. I don't know him. You do. He's the guy from Ex Machina. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he is spelt. Yeah. Also, he seems like he changed races. <laughs> that, nope. I felt like I was 98% sure that that was the guy from IQ with Meg Ryan. No. But I'm pretty sure he died. Andrew, the guy from IQ is Walter Matthau. He's toast dead. He died in like the wait, early 2000s. Wait, the guy who plays Einstein was Walter Matthau? It was Walter Matthau. Was it really? It really was. Oh. And he definitely did die. That yeah. was a really good Paul Rubens. <laughs> what is that? Just tell me. <laughs> Paul Rubens was the original voice of the robot oh. in Star Wars. He's also Pee Wee Herman. He was Pee Wee Herman? Yeah. Oh. William Fickner? Yes! You don't know who that is. Nope. <laughs> um. I love that you don't even know his name. <laughs> Henry Cowell? Yeah! <laughs> I had actually thought of it just a couple minutes ago. Yeah, I swear yeah. to God. I mean, I mean. You, I mean, you literally have IMDb for a brain. <laughs> it's mind boggling. Um, but I also don't know who anyone is. Thank God we're friends because it's like, you know. It works out. So between me not knowing who people are <laughs> and Averill's struggles with spelling slash pronunciation. <laughs> Often we get into a scenario where the result is that no one really knows what the fuck is going on. It's directed by Wally Fister. Fister? Fister. Wally Fister. P-H-I-S-E-R. Oh, Pfizer. Pfizer? No, it's like Fister. Okay. It's like F-E-I-G. Oh, Fig. Paul Fig. Paul Fig. Paul Fig. Paul Fig. His character's name is Fondre. Fondre. A lot of people give Joel Schumacher slack. They give him slack. Lots of slack. Chris Platt is hilarious. And Chris I, Platt. <laughs> what did I say? Chris Platt. That's what you said. It's Chris Pratt. Oh, is it Pratt? Yeah. Oh. It's Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Um, I love that you don't even know his name. Oh, a bet, a bet, a bet, a bet, a bet. <laughs> nope. It's like in a like a like a ukulele like. <laughs> You can lele. Stompled? <laughs> Whatever. It's a word. It's a word. Trampled and stomped on. Yep. Duh. Then, then post -co coitus. Post, post, post coital. Post coitus. <laughs> David Thwillis. Thwillis? De de div. Jim? Jeb. J Finn. Finn. Amy Schumer Sket. Oh, yeah. Sketch. Sketch? Sketch. Skitch isn't a thing. Skit or a sketch. Pick one. And also, Tan Channing Tatum is prettier Tan to look at. Channing Tatum. <laughs> just, like, just like a really tan Channing Tatum. Just Channing Tatum. Nikolai... Nikolai something. 
something hyphen something. Lex Luthor! Luthor? It's <laughs> Luthor, like that's so what, weird. It's Lex Luthor! Crimson, Chris Helmsworth. So, Crimson Hemsworth. Crimson Hemsworth. And so, 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 so. Slovenia. Chekovia. Matthias so and so's. Matthias Schoenarts. Ma Ma okay, so Matthias. Sean. We have to have Matthias Gunnars. We have to have Matthias. It's like show painter. Oh my god, I'm so drunk. <laughs> Jason Schwartzman. Yeah. <laughs> and Regina Jones. What happened? I don't know. This movie sucks. <laughs> I feel like us talking about go home, you're drunk. Should just be us really drunk. <laughs> we'll figure out what to say. <laughs> Jaws is like a, a movie. Oh. I would never watch Made in Manhattan ever again. Made in Manhattan. <laughs> There's a lot of technological questions. Yes. Woo! Woo! These um, movies are <clears throat> causing me to drink. He's the Silver Surfer. He comes full circle. <laughs> Tonight we're reviewing a bit of a train wreck. <laughs> Philippe, I believe in you. You're gonna make it. You can fly like the rest of us. This is what happens when we drink beforehand. <laughs> then the Coopers had dinner and it was no, Because so that would have ruined the surprise, April. Oh, because I was so shocked. Wild, wild west. Good thing there's not a robot spider about to kill you. I mean, that would have been real scary. That would have been crazy. Yeah. Just pause the movie for Chris Hemsworth to give this <laughs> dwarf I mean, woman a striptease in the forest. I mean, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just picturing a pressure cooker with a bunch of cocks. Of tiltouts sticking out. Uh, <laughs> 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 so that wraps up all that we got for you guys. Write in the comments if you could figure out all of our little Easter eggs. Yeah, if you figured them out, good on you. If you want to celebrate 100 with us, <gasps> send us pictures of yourselves like cheersing or <sighs> taking drinks. Fun, <laughs> hashtag movie bitches 100. In conclusion. Sure. <clears throat> I can't say three things enough. First, thank you. Yay! Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Secondly, Michael Fassbender, will you marry me? <laughs> and thirdly, fuck you, movie. That was way harsh, Ty. <laughs> <laughs>